Okay, if you cannot do this, if you cannot act on today's word, the odds of you winding up living in a van down by the river go up exponentially. Hey everybody, it's David Bradley, Senior Sales and Marketing Manager with Grant Cardone. Today's word, this is the Wednesday word. We're going to talk about a very special word today, uh, a word that could mean everything, but also could mean nothing if you do not use the word correctly. What do we do on the Wednesday word? Well, we're going to take words that are out in the ecosphere, we're going to pull them in, we're going to understand the meaning, the definition, where they came from, and then most importantly, what to do with these words, how to plug these words into your life, and use them in a way to impact your sales, your business, and your life. And let's just get right down to it, because i got a lot to cover today, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun going over today's word. If you haven't figured out what it is already, I'm going to give it to you right now. You ready? Today's word is motivate. Okay, now let's get some understanding of this definition quickly and out of the way immediately. Motivate is a verb, meaning it's something that you do, not something that you have. It's not a feeling, it's an action. Okay, so let's just look at the definition here now that we've understood what that is. Uh, to provide with a motive. Okay. Now the origin, real quick, first known use, 1836, in terms of to provide you, somebody, something with a motive. So the etymology, when you look that up, 1863, to stimulate toward action. You stimulated? I've got all of Grant's books. One of the highlights about Grant's books is that his books all have a glossary. So I've got the stack and I've got this in a very specific order. We're gonna look at the glossary of each book and we're gonna look at the definition of motivate in each book. You ready? Here we go. The Closer's Survival Guide. Motivate, provide, in parentheses, someone with a motive for doing something. Stimulate someone's interest in or enthusiasm for doing something. Origin, late Middle English from Old French motif. Adjective used as a noun from late Latin motivus, meaning to move. Now, if you're not first, you're last. Very important book right now, by the way, if you don't have it, would highly recommend getting it. If you're not first, you're last. Motives is the word in the dictionary. Motives. Something that causes a person to act, react, or respond. The reason someone may take action. To next rule. Motives, something, a need or desire that causes a person to act. Celebi Sold. Well, guess what? Celebi Sold doesn't actually have a glossary. So what do we have, though? In the back, uh, quick tips to conquer the biggest challenges in selling. Grant talks about staying motivated. And what does he say? My motivation, this is very important. My motivation comes from my attention on the future, not from something done in the past. Okay? So, what's your attention on right now? Because if you're not motivated, where, where are you? Are you in the present? Are you in the past? Or are you in the future? Grant says the other thing with staying motivated is you need to stay away from bad news and doomsayers. How important is this right now? 
Their goal is to drag you down and make sense of where they live and the choices they have made. Rewind this if you need to, because that was important. Okay. Be obsessed or be average, and I hit this glossary, guess what? It's not even in there. But you know what word is? Fuel. Okay. Grant's definition, an energy source and momentum to propel you into your purpose, goals, or future. Propel, motivate. Okay? So, here's the question. How do you get motivated? How do you stay motivated? Okay? This is happening to you every day whether you're aware of it or not. Motivation means that you are either moving towards something that you want or you're moving away from something that you do not want okay so what i want you to do to figure out how to get and stay motivated is identify where you are at right now what are you moving towards and also what are you moving away from so i'll give you one of the motivations for me um, from my history when I first got into the auto industry, I was tired of living hand to mouth. I was tired of living paycheck to paycheck. I was tired of it. I was tired of being broke. I was done with it. I was done. In addition, I had just met the woman of my dreams, the lady I wanted to marry. And I knew that in my current position, in my current career choice, I would continue to stay broke, would continue to struggle for money, and would not feel good about asking her father for her hand in marriage. So I became motivated to make more money, to be debt free, and to not have, how am I going to get rent paid, be an issue ever again. Highly motivated. So what was I doing? I was moving away from but at the same time, I knew I wanted to be in a place where I didn't have to stress about money. I didn't have to stress about bills. So I started moving towards that. Additionally, I had this place that I wanted to live. And I was moving towards that. So as I was moving away from what I didn't want, I was moving towards what I did want. So your exercise is going to be this. I want you to identify and get as crystal clear as you possibly can on what you are moving towards, but also have a real understanding of what you're moving away from. This is how you're going to get, and then this is how you're going to stay motivated. And then if you are not in the habit of writing that down every single day, we need to get you in that habit. And I would suggest doing it at least twice, if not three times a day, maybe even more, depending on your level of motivation. You may need to just remind yourself of what you're moving away from and what you are moving towards. You need both to get and stay motivated. And then the last thing I'm going to leave you with is going to be this. Right now, whatever's going on for you, this is not the time to stop. Okay, now more than ever, you have to tie very tie into what you're moving towards. Do not lower the target. That's one of the commandments out of the 10X rule. Never, ever, ever lower the target, regardless of what is happening around you right now. Okay, stay focused on the target. Do not lower it. Now is not the time to slow down. This is the time, however, to turn it up. Whatever it used to take, it's going to take more. So you're going to have to turn it up and you're going to have to turn it up hard. Are you fulfilling your potential right now? Are you at full speed, full steam? Are you or are you not? Okay. If you're not, then you can fix it. If you are, is there more? Can you do more? Probably. If you are wasting time on the things you can't control, knock it off. It is literally demotivating you. Remember from the definition, right? Okay. So put all of your attention on the things you can't control, what you're going to, and that is how you motivate you. And that's really the only thing that matters right now is you staying motivated. 
Now, if you need help with this, if you would like a couple exercises that we have that we can give you that you can work on to get even deeper on this, feel free to reach out to me. My email is david at grantcarnone.com or you can uh, shoot a phone call out to uh, 310-777-0352. So, are you motivated? Yes or no? If the answer is no, fix it. If the answer is yes, add wood to the fire that is your motivation. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Wednesday Word. And in the words of Grant Cardone, be great because nothing else pays.